So we have our wrapped armature, our wrapped and swax toes, and then I have my dried felted pieces. The belly is good as it is, doesn't need anything done to it. The um, head and neck, we will take a brush and just tease out the edge and we might need to cut the head to wrap properly. Um, but we'll fringe the edges out on that. This is going to cover four legs. So we want to cut this into four pieces and fringe the edges out on it. Mm. You just eyeball <laughs> what's half. Yeah. Some of us might want to measure. measure or fold it in half. Yeah. Those of us with cutting problems. This is fun, fun part. It's a little turtle surgery. And then the shell has been drying and Ooh. yeah. So once I um, power wax or um, power text the shell and I'll show you that it changes a lot. It mute, it kind of like it's, it's kind of like when you put a clear coat on wood um, and it muted it. This has been sitting around, so it's a little hairy. Um, but it would be interesting to, so that's power text. It would be interesting to power wax this hmm. and see how it looked. After power text, power wax on top. Right, right. Because power text is what's going to firm all of the all of the fiber up. But um, the wax might shine. But it the up. wax might now shine it. So I'm, I'll do that and, and and include a picture. But be forewarned that it will um, it will sort of change your colors a bit. So you could like experiment on like maybe needle felt something similar to your shell and then experiment on that. So there's that. Okay, but first we need to work a little bit more on our shapes. So we're gonna um, finish out the legs here. And what I've been doing is with the moss core, we're going to make some foot, uh, some little foot pillows and then get another wrap on the legs and then we can put the skin on. So if I take a good like four inches, split those in half. Wrap um, four rectangles on the flat part of the Zoli tool. Just kind of stay in one place. You want it to be about an inch. So we're on day two here. And yesterday, for like the remainder of the day, I was just wowing everyone with my tortoise and turtle. Like everywhere oh. I went. <laughs> I was like, you were the turtle back to Lenny. Yes. <laughs> and I sent, um, you know, linked the creep video to like all of my friends. Oh, nice. And then I looked up T Boz Chili and Left Eye to see where they are now. <laughs> then we want to take the fringe sides and just go around, I'm gonna bend this foot, not quite so big. Just tack it on with the fringe going sort of around to the heel on each side. What was the um, turtle character that I knew that you were surprised that I knew, but then I didn't know? Kung Fu um, Panda. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grandmaster Ugwe. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, Korean proverb. Okay. A turtle can only get on it by sticking its neck out. I, I, don't, know what, I don't know what it is. It sounds like a <laughs> disco dance, but... Isn't that a disco song? Apache jump on it? Is that what you're get thinking of? Get down on it. Oh. So, getting on it is a thing, apparently. We, we know several songs. But you have to stick your neck out. Yeah. Yep. Take a risk. Yep. Hopefully you don't need to move fast, because if you're a turtle... I'll tell you what, though. Have you ever seen a box turtle eat a toad? No, I have not. <laughs> oh, right. They're just super slow and then their head is like whoosh, and they grab like crazy so you're saying be very slow and but then, then surprise get on it. people with your speed <laughs> that is a good tactic always surprise people Now, I'm going to wrap the legs again, and let's use a whole piece. Let's use whole six-inch pieces. And encompass this pillow. Tortoises have, did we already say, they have bigger, stronger legs for the land dwelling. And turtles generally have smaller, more streamlined legs and more streamlined shells for the water. So now we have the right amount of leg chunk. I feel like any time we film now, we need to do the famous animal. Yeah, I like that a lot. Game. I was going to say, isn't it, wouldn't it be funny if the wordle or turtle, but it's six letters. kind of funny to make a headless creature. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I like surprising people with the head coming out. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you remember the half mice? Oh yes. <laughs> These little like tiny little In a ornament bags. Oh the bags. Or like yeah, they were like little metal, like they look like gift bags. And I was like, oh, make a cute ornament to have a mouse sticking out of the bag. But then I'm like, I'm not going to make a whole mouse. So then they were just mouse heads. <laughs> like the um, kangaroo, Joey. Oh, yeah. It's like your cat got to it. <laughs> All right, should we... Let's do, let's not do skin until we're ready to do all of it. Okay, now we're going to work on the turtle face. And I need to blend a little bit more of my green, of a green, because I used it all in the shell. So I'm going to take um, Ivy Merino and the um, Oregano Mint julep. Mint julep, thank you. And maybe just a little bit of 
sage, and just a little bit of onion. Oh, I, I can reach. Thank you. Yep. Okie dokie. Now we have a little blended color to use to lock everything down when we're ready. It's so pretty. Okay, <clears throat> we need to make a nose point with two inches of moss and a little bit of our top coat. So top coat, the fiber goes sideways, the top coat goes on top, flip it over, and we're making a triangle. And we'd want this to be a very pointy triangle. So we're going to put, if we draw an arrow, we're going to put the point very near the top. If you were to put the point of the arrow back farther, it would be more blunt. So this is how we get a pointy triangle. This is a good time to have a reference of a face, which I should do. And kind of try to match this to your, I guess I went a little darker on my um, face, but that's okay. I'll, I'll figure it out. All right, so there's my nose tip. Then we want to do the same thing for a chin, except we're going to make it kind of rounded. So two inches of core going side to side, top coat going side to side, flip it over. I always draw the center and then make a ghost and make it just back from the top, about a half an inch from the top so that you get some of that wool bent over. I need a good turtle lip. <laughs> they have that cute little chin and smile. Yeah. Then we want a one, two, three. Okay a double-decker taco. So we're going to take three inches of moss. I'm going to go about an inch down, felt a line, fold over, felt about an inch, and then fold over. You could wrap this on the Zoli tool. You just, you want fringe is the is the point of the double decker taco to make a shape but also have some fringe. Okay. Where's my Here it is. <laughs> okay, so I really want to fold this over the nose. They have a very deep deep nose. Like their nostrils are up here. And the bottom of their lip is down here. I'm just looking at my pictures. Okay, so the nose point is going to go on to the end of that. Might be easier to stab it this way first. It's a little hard angle to get to. Can you pass me that um, little stab it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. How did you work for so many years without the mini stabbing? I know, I don't know. A lot of things we've done, did without for a long time. So I have it just sticking past the end of the, um, the wrapped armature. 
And then the chin, we want to tuck in here and their mouth does go kind of all the way around. Unlike most animals who are trying to get rid of that line, they have a really broad mouth. I'm just taking the edges up and around a little bit. I always tack face things on a little bit lightly until I have them all in place and then I really know how to sculpt and um, shape them. Okay, then the double decker taco, we want to really define the back of the head. So I'm putting the rolled edge at the back of the head and letting the fringe come forward and the fringy sides just come down. So I really want this to kind of sit on top of the head, not really wrap around, like we don't want it to wrap down around the neck. We want this to be pushed up from the back. And all of your fringe should blend. Just blend it, blend it. You know, we're trying to make one solid shape, not, uh, we don't want these pieces to, we want them to come together into one. Okay, then we need to make some eye sockets. A face ace is helpful. <laughs> they, they look all different kinds of ways. Um, so this will give your turtle a lot of character, sort of depending on how you end up, how you end up doing this. I'm gonna take the top coat and just take a strip about a two inch by half inch strip and make some, um, well, let's start with moss just to get the shape. Let's take a two inch piece, split it in half, give that a little stretch, and then wrap maybe about halfway up your face ace. I grabbed a face ace with no dots. So one tortoise I'm looking at really has a strong, like so almost like a sort of cheekbone back here. So I'm going to put this going in a semicircle this way. And then I'm going to do another one to make a brow. But their eyes are kind of like, if you look at the head from straight on, the eye is really down on, like the top of their head is flat. It's not like their eyes aren't up on the top of their head. It, it's amazing how much eye placement <laughs> so funny. affects. Yeah. Like getting that look yes. right. They end up looking so different. Can you pass me that other face ace I'll see if it has? Thank you. Okay, these I'm gonna do a little smaller, maybe around dot three. A little less fiber. And then I want to make a brow for the eye to rest into. Oh, you know what I realized our supply pack does not have is black. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm just kind of shaping out a spot for the eye to go. Looks like an ostrich right now.
Okay, I have a little strip of black about two inches split in half and I'm gonna use the end of the face ace and just go around Oh, it's, my right hand is the the pass. Yeah. Okay. And it's going to be, the eye is going to be like a little bit bigger than maybe it should because it's going to get um, kind of encompassed. So with a single needle, I like to stab in from the edges to get it, keep it round. Turtle, what shape are you? Like you're weird. You're not like other animals. Right now he's kind of like, I'm a snake. I'm a lizard. I'm a lizard. I'm a ostrich. I like this one that's like super grumpy. Might need to put a little extra. Kind of want a little more nose bump. I'm just going to fold the soft pillow in my hands and get this nose bump on here. Better. Top, top coat? Yeah, I use top coat. Like accentuate that bend over look. What do you get when you cross a turtle with a porcupine? I don't know what. A uh, slow poke. <laughs> That's what this needle felting project is. <laughs> it is a little snaky at the moment. Yeah, so now with my needles, I'm trying to sculpt and... But it's going to change again when the skin goes on. So um, I'm going to wrap a little bit more of this neck. Just get it a little bit bigger. Alrighty, now we are ready to put the skin on. Did I make any notes about that? Five out of six, six out of six. Nope. All right, let's go back to the legs because that's nice and easy. <laughs> I'm going to push this out of the way to um, comb the edges because I don't want to tear up my stab it. So on each leg piece, you want to grab the fiber from the edges and loosen it up, especially on the back. Be careful on the top because you can pull all of your neps off. Okay, and then I look at it and see, all right, this side is a little narrower than this side, and um, they're a little wider at the bottom. So I'll put that at the bottom. And I like to have the, I like to tuck from around the back and have the seam coming from the front to the back. It, for some reason, it just blends more naturally than having the seam come forward. 
So the first thing I'll do is tack this side in. These are actually a little bit excessive, which is a better problem to have than not enough. Not enough. Then I'll bring this around and tack that down. I'm avoiding stabbing right into neps because they will sometimes just stick your needles and pull off. So I'm trying to stab into the wool that's been fringed, that's been fringed out. And it's okay to have this extra coming on the body because what's gonna happen is the belly is gonna go on top of that and then the shell will go on this side. So that's actually good to have that skin uh, traveling onto the body like that. So people may wanna look at their four pieces and if there's two that they love that they think are just the most amazing. Put them at the front? Yeah, maybe. I mean, the whole thing could be amazing. And then that's not a problem. <laughs> I'll do one more um, on camera and then we'll switch gears here. So we did a back leg, so do a front leg. So I'll take the side that's gonna come around and face the front of the turtle first, and then, then the side that's gonna go towards the back of the turtle. And you wanna move it so that the seam doesn't end up on the outside. If your piece is so big that it's going all the way around, make sure it ends you know, on the, on the back of the leg. Yeah, my pieces were actually pretty big, mm -hmm. so that's good. Everybody to have plenty. Those look so good. Yay. Let's work on the head, and then it'll be time to put uh, mm. the, the shell on. I know. All right, so I need to comb out my um, skin piece here. And I might have to cut it a little bit because I think I definitely have too much on the front. The wrinkles are so fun though. Yeah. And this is another opportunity to um, shape the face a little differently. All right. Now, since I didn't take any notes, <laughs> we're going to work through this. I think what I did was I put this sort of where I thought it looked good. And then oh, you could like make a whole um, corner of the mouth and everything. Okay, so that's good. Now, I have the eyes here, so I'm going to cut a tiny little hole for an eye. and then shape that over the brow, like use the skin to shape it. That's just cool. Yeah, this is really fun part. You gotta play a little bit here, like, um, all right, but now I got, okay, I gotta make sure I stay centered because it started to shift that way. So I'm gonna have a little extra skin over here. So now I'm gonna come to this side, keeping it all centered. Look for the eye, it's right there.
So how much this skin kind of works its way around is Um, you know, you can make folds and bumps. Right now, I'm looking for the corner of the mouth, like the mouth line and felting that. So I'm going to do that on each side. And I want to look at a picture and see what the mouth does exactly. Oh my gosh. It starts to look like a Muppet. All right, the mouth goes really far back on the sides. To the eye, almost? Yeah. It goes back under the eye. And then I'm going to let this come around the chin because their chin really is a bit bulkier than I made it. And then I want to shape the nose into a thing. So I'm going to follow the mouth lines around and then I got a nip in my nose. And then they have two nostrils like way up here. So let's get those going. The eye, this, I don't know what is going on with this eye. It's like it's sunk. I probably need to put more black in there. But you can, if your eye gets like pressed, I feel like it got kind of like pressed, slid back. So I'll just put another one. And then all of this, you want to come around in like kind of a janky, <laughs> nondescript. So we pick one side to fold over first. And then you want it just to be loose skin. So I'm leaving it on the loose side. I'm not totally pulling it completely against the, um, the wrapped wire. That way I can decide, I can make decisions about um, how to tuck it and fold it and, you know, like what, how many wrinkles do you want? And you can, if you need to, you can cut some little, like so for example, if I didn't want quite all of this, I can cut, um, it's not a dart. It's like the opposite of a dart. It was a dart, I guess. Mm -hmm. The wrinkles are one of the most fun parts. Yeah, it's going to look good once I get this, um, spend a little more time getting the face sculpted. Yeah, I got to see. I don't know what happened here. I'm just putting more black here because my eye disappeared. And then I could take little pieces of um, pre-felt or top coat and, you know, redo the brows or change anything that I need to change. Let me redo my nose. And I'm going to put two black dots where the nostrils go. I think a little like lighter on the face skin would have been a better direction than darker. Oh my God, 
colors starting to look like something. <laughs> There's a lot of sculpting. It's a lot of sculpting. I think I'm going to put a black line. Yeah, the head is really wide too, so more felting like downwards is good. Yeah, that's better, like flattening it out mm -hmm. a bit. Okay, I will play with this some more. But at the end, we really just want to, because this needs to slide in and out, so you really want to kind of tighten this up. I might cut a little, little bit off. I don't need quite so much. Kind of to the end of your, um, to the end of your wire. We're going to sew the shell on if any of these other steps with the legs or the neck, you want to um, put a few stitches to, you know, either tack something or hold it in place. You totally can do that. Let me get rid of this weird bump. Yeah, that's better. Happier. Um, Henry David Thoreau. We're getting real smart here. Real froofy. <laughs> Nature is slow, but sure. She works no faster than need be. She is the tortoise that wins the race by her perseverance. Yeah. Except for a tornado, Henry. <laughs> or an avalanche. <laughs> Look at you smacking down Thoreau. <laughs> Like, nice observation, I'm but so, That no. is so, like, such a social media, like, here's a quote. No. <laughs> Every quote has holes. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's terrible. So I want to get a little bit of top coat on the tail. Another option would be to put some pre-felt on there, but it's, that would be a little fussy. So I'm going to take some of the top coat and wrap the tail just to give it a more interesting color. Very simple. Oh, a little piece of Angelina made it into my turtle. Every turtle needs a little sparkle. Yeah. All right, so you can start to see how your turtle be. It's going to be good. Speaking of sparkle, I need a little eye light. Use off white chunky core. If you have some Serafina white, that would be good. <clears throat> There's such varied things going on around the eyes. Um, that I don't have an exact instruction. I think maybe a little bit of like light fiber around it would look good. I'll try that. I 
getting them symmetrical would look good. I, I have some really nice turtle quotes. They're not proverbs, but... Okay. Bruce Feiler, no clue who that is. Don't know. My apologies to Bruce. Take a walk with a turtle and behold the world in paws. Or claws. Yeah, turtle claw has paws. P-A-U-S-E. Yes. Slowly would. Yes, in paws. <laughs> like slow down. Yes. Stop and smell the roses. Wait, is that a saying? Yeah. Is that a saying? Is it roses or flowers? Roses. Roses. Turtle head, turtle head, what shape are you? Okay. Why is he cuter? Why is he cuter? The black line helps. I swaxed his nose. Yeah, okay, let me do a little black line. Is he cute? He's cute. He doesn't have a black line. His little eyes are kind of like on the front of his head. All my turtles look different. Right, this quote's terrible. It's from a book, okay. I assume. Amy Tan. Yes. Totally depressing. Uh-oh. she talk about eating the soup? No. But it's sad. Now you see, said the turtle, drifting back into the pond, why it is useless to cry. Your tears do not wash away your sorrows. They feed someone else's joy. Ew. And that is why you must learn to swallow your own tears. No. That's, that, what kind of advice is that? No. And do you want to read that book? Yeah. Amy went dark. Whatever character that was, was mm -hmm. not nice. Not a nice person. All right, I feel like my turtle is just getting crazier and crazier looking. Light fiber around the eyes. His eyes are very wide set compared to your other guys. Yeah. They are. Weird. <laughs> Nature slowed down too much. This is actually a proverb, Arabic proverb, wealth comes like a turtle and goes away like a gazelle. True that. Oh, that looks better, that little light around the eye. All right, I'll do that on the other side. My turtle's mouth is like... Okay. So, so a needle pulling thread. That was way out of tune. <laughs> I can't start from nowhere. I'm gonna try to tack this on a little bit, but really you need to sew it on. And I think I was able to do them at the same time. Yeah, I kind of made a sandwich and stitched it up. Are we gonna talk about turtle sandwiches now? <laughs> He needs a little off-white chunky core poof. So I'm taking my whole big piece and doing a little bit of a roll, but kind of at an angle so that it gets uh, a little more oval. And that, I just use the rest of my off-white chunky core. It's about like a 20 inch piece. And this will help keep the shell in the shape that we want. I'm 
Oh, how do I stick the head in there? Oh. Okay. Or did this. Put this here. I don't want to stab it too much because it'll go through. That's unusual. And then I actually used a piece of pre felt across here. Um, but we will use. Do, do, do. We'll make a piece of pre felt. So what, what this does is it makes like a nice smooth spot for the, so I'm just using extra fiber. For the turtleneck to slide. Mm-hmm. see how he's done yeah he's the same way he is like a little little piece of felt across that You could, because our neck piece was so long, you could cut this sooner and then you would sort of have this this piece of pre-felt because it doesn't need it that quite that long. Like it could end here and then you just wrap some uh, wrap some fiber around it. It is a little harder to get the pre-felt Smooth. to felt in yeah. to oh. that shell piece though no yeah um it doesn't have to felt in it just gets kind of stitched into the sandwich oh oh my piece that's going to be completely hidden is very pretty Oh wait, which side is this? Is the next side? I'm really going to concentrate on this, this side. Yeah, if you have leftover from. If you watch the tutorial first <laughs> and then made, you will get to this point and be like, oh, I could save some of my pre-felt or um, use, you know, if you have any um, merino pre-felt or other pre-felt, it could work really well. That looks very pretty though. It does look very pretty. It's about to get hidden. See, you don't want to stab too much because it comes through. You know what I mean? The off-white. Go back, go back. Okay. There is no like great way for me to show this. <laughs> um, I struggle with it a little bit every time I do it. So it's a little bit of kind of, you just have to figure, you know, figure it out, find, um, find what works well for you. The, um, if you have any upholstery needles, they're, um, they're long and hooked. That's really helpful in this process. Um, 
but even just even just a big needle um, can work can work well and I'll use that since that's what you might be more likely to have whoopsie I have a brown thread, that's probably best. All right, so I'm gonna make double, um, double my thread. And I think, I don't know if I've like pinned it before to hold it in place or what I did, maybe a tack on each side just to get started. I am not a sewer. <laughs> um, so maybe you have better skills and techniques than I do. But what we wanna do is get the shell and then some of the wrapped wire and then into the into the bottom shell. Oh, so you actually get some of the armature. Yeah, it's I think it's good to get okay. a little bit of the armature cuz that's that helps you see okay, that's where I want the shell to be landing. It's kind of like a guide. So I'm gonna grab less, you know, less distance here so that my thread doesn't show so much, gain distance in my stab through, and then come out here. And then not so much there. Get some distance there. And then I'm actually gonna um, tie this off and do the other side just so that I make sure that we're, we keep it, um, keep it centered. So to tie it off, I'm gonna get in here somewhere where you won't see the knot, owie. And then let's just tack the other side so that we know we're centered. Yeah, I think some nice big pins would be great. Mm. I think I only have little pins. It's pretty straightforward though, what you need to do. Yeah, it's Maybe just awkward, tricky. yeah. So don't pull it too tight. Give yourself some, yeah. keep the shell a little lump. Yeah, I think it's best to do a few little sections instead of trying to go like around the whole thing just get a few little sections tacked at a time, kind of like tightening the lug bolts on your tire. Mm -hmm. So we'll go somewhere else for a second. So like I said, along the way, if you want to do more sewing, like if you want to, if you want to stitch uh stitch the tops of your tops of your legs on for example first um you can you can do that he's so good <laughs> he's getting he's getting there i wanted to see uh make sure there's room for the neck yeah Oh my gosh, he's so funny. I gotta work on his face. I gotta figure out his face. He's a little goofy. 
All right, let's do a little back here. So you just keep scooting like the underpiece into the right spot and but yeah, I just to make sure stuff is as it should be. The sewing can also kind of crimp the bottom of the shell a little bit, which is cool. So I needed to just focus on his face a little bit, and I, I decided that if I tightened up behind his head, it was a little more turtly to get a little, get his neck a little skinnier around his head. And also in my pictures, the turtle that I liked, the tortoise that I liked, had a nice big lower lip. And I, I made it with a little bit of lighter colors and I feel like that gives him a better expression and um, overall look. This eye is still weird, but um, so, yeah, you can keep you can keep shaping and tightening and stabbing and assessing. And then I have one more bit of stitches to do just to the left of his shell here. And while we were filming um, Milo power waxed the other shell. So we'll see how that looks once it dries. It's, we can show it. Um, I can grab it. I can grab it. So that you're not freaked out by if this is how yours looks. Um, that's, that's the way it looks until it dries and it'll dry clear. Um, the only other time I've really used the power wax was with the bat wings. And, um, and then when they were finished, I ironed them and that, Shiny. yeah, it took all the extra off. So we'll see. I'll let you know what I do with this. Yeah, I have a few more spots to stitch up in around here because I, I jumped around a little bit, which which works in terms of keeping your shell lined up where you want it. The problem with a really long needle is you have to tie it off sooner. There's a, there's a proverb in there somewhere. <laughs> Why is turtle wax so expensive? I don't know why. Because turtle ears are so small. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <sighs> the neck also like shoves the, uh, there, now he looks cute. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll show you guys his good side. There we go. Yeah, I have those, you know, I have more stabbing to do. And when we see how that other shell looks, um, I'll decide if I want to do that. I, I wonder how it is to, like, I obviously did this unattached, 
Mm -hmm. You can't do it and then attach it because you can't stitch through it. Nope, it's, it's pretty <laughs> so, solid. Yeah, so it's a bit of a, um, you know, pros and cons. Oh, okay, I like him now. Mm-hmm. We did it. He's very handsome. That was fun, Milo. That, that you did amazing again. <laughs> Love the new Whew. tortoise. I had to, I had to pull it together there in the end to stitch him up. I'll still stab on it a little bit. Get him, get him a little more perfect. I think people are going to be um, posting on fanfare and maybe even emailing and saying how you really, you you really toured us a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, thanks. I'm glad you saved that for the end. <laughs> we needed something. <laughs> um, yeah, this uh, this has been a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see what you guys made. Please um, join us in our Facebook group called Serafina Felting Fanfare, if you have not already. And subscribing to the YouTube channel is a great way to stay tuned um, to things that are that are coming out. What else do we need to say? Uh, this is going to be, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm always excited to see the new, the new projects. Yeah. These can be out. so different and so fun. Yeah. So the, it's kind of like the dragon where it's like this, this fun opportunity to, I mean, you can't go as crazy, but, uh, a little, the wet a felting. Wild, and, yeah. Yeah. I like to not be real literal. Um, but you definitely could take this project and make it more realistic. So I don't spend a lot of time with tortoises. So that we makes it, it makes it easier to make it less realistic. So thank you so much for joining us. I hope you guys had a great time and I can't wait to see your tortoise. Bye. Bye.